Hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are starting this video off in the car park because this is where we are going to for our dinner tonight. You might be able to tell by the title of the video where we're going. We are gonna go hot pot at this place that I've actually never been to. I've seen photos, I've seen videos. My friends have been here many times. I actually have never been and I'm really excited to try this place today with my entire family so we're actually at the car park of westfield chatswood and we got to go up to wait let me check which level okay we got to go up to level six i am meeting the rest of the fam at the restaurant uh we booked for seven o'clock it's currently 702 um but i think that i'm actually the first one here because they're always late Okay, we have just arrived at our hot pot place. It's a place called Hadi Lao, which in Chinese, it, I think it translates directly as scooping from the ocean, a scooping from the bottom of the ocean. And we're gonna have a series of different hot pot plates tonight. And um, it's also my mom's birthday. Well, like it was a couple days ago and we've got birthday signs. And I think they have like, they carry out like a massive uh, fluorescent, neon sign out as well later i don't know that's what my friend told me anyway they they have these like ipads that we order off and then there's also a sauce bar that we get our sauces so i think what we'll do is do you want to get sauces or order first oh is it closed oh the sauce bar is closed so they've given us like this sauce menu that we would choose from so okay that's okay we're just gonna order like the soup base and the ingredients and whatnot from this iPad. All right, we have just put in our orders for the hot pot. I've ordered a whole range of uh, different meats. We've got seafood, we've got a range of different balls. Hey, we didn't get veggies, did we? Okay, we should get veggies as well. So when I go hot pot, sometimes I get like really cooling drinks, like a watermelon drink, or sometimes I get like, you know, the palm juice or the chokse mao gun, but I just got a cow piss today. This is like a fizzy, sweet, it's kind of like a yogurt fizzy drink. I'm trying, I do Okay, they've just given us some appetizers. It's pumpkin with dates. It's warm and it's sweet. So I've got an apron because they offered it. It's just a way to not, you know, get soup splashes on my shirt. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna eat, which is kind of weird for hot pot, but I love this, it's fried man pao. And then you dip it in condensed milk and it's just the best combo of crispy on the outside, pillowy, fluffy, soft on the inside, and then sweet as well. Something about bread and sweetness just makes it taste so good. Okay. Now we get right into the meats. So in terms of broth today, we got a chicken broth and we also got a tomato broth because I love tomatoes. And I've just got my Wagyu beef. I'm just gonna have it as is and then I'm gonna mix my sauce together and take it from there. The tomato flavor is very prominent. Okay, and in terms of sauces, so they don't have the self-serve sauce bar today, but we did order the soy sauce, the sesame paste, and also the sesame oil with the, the garlic on the inside as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a bit from each of the three bowls, mix it together, and then make that my own sauce. All right, so let's start with the, the balls. So we've got the shrimp paste, which like they scoop it out and then put it in the soup, and then it just forms into like a little tiny shrimp ball. And we've also got fish balls. We've also got this one that I'm not too sure what it is. Look at my leg. the one with the fish roll. Oh. Okay, it's fish ball with fish roe. And then we have the DC chong, which is the sausage with melted cheese on the inside. You gotta be really careful when you eat this one because. No, it doesn't sweat. Oh. Because sometimes what I was gonna say is that when you bite into it, the cheese just completely oozes out. But uh, my brother just told me that it's pretty safe. 
All right, I am going to start with the fish ball. I'm going to dip it in the sauce where I just took one part of everything and uh, go from there. The fish ball isn't very, very springy, but it is very fresh and it's, there's no like fishy taste to it at all. What I'm really excited to try is the shrimp paste that they've scooped up. That is delicious. Okay, now we have the zizi chow with the cheese inside. I'll just have one because I do like it, but I shouldn't have too many. Is it because we didn't cook it for long enough, bro? Whoa, whoa. That's why there's no... no, no we've, been, we've been in there for ages. Mum will eat it and then nothing will squirt out. And then we have the fish ball with the fish roe on the inside. So inside, once you bite into it, there's a whole bunch of fish roe. It's got that like popping sensation to it. In terms of my favorite meatballs for hot pot, it's always the beef and the fish. I do like the shrimp paste one as well, but that's less like a meatball, but more like shrimp paste. So my mom just made me a strand of noodles with tomato sauce. It's got so much tomato just like trapped in the in this strand of noodles. And I love tomatoes, so I'm very, very excited. Whole al dente. What do you guys think of the Hong Dai? I like the tomatoes. Yeah. They Pancake. All the hydro pancake. I love the I love the tomato one because it's just so strong in the tomato flavor. So this is like a, it's like a vermicelli dough. And I've also got a squid as well. The squid is very fresh. It's a little bit chewy, like how you would expect squid to be. There's still that freshness of the, like the seafoody flavor to it, but it mostly absorbs the flavor of the broth. So it's like a combination of chicken broth with the flavor uh, of squid. Okay, so this is just the fish skin. You just put it in the soup really quickly and then eat it. Or you don't have to put it in the soup at all. So because it's my mom's birthday today and I told them in advance, um, they've given my mom a bowl of noodles that's called a chow sao mean. It's like long life noodles. Uh, it looks very pretty, but uh, we'll see what it tastes like. I'll let her taste it and then I'll reiterate to you whether she likes it or not. I'm gonna try my mom's noodles. Look at how thick these noodles are. It's like, it's like the biang biang noodles that I had in one of my episodes that I did, like a Xi'an food store. It's very, very chewy. The soup base is a little bit, what's yours, it's a medicinal. I'm gonna... mm. So for our second round of ordering, we've got a bunch of veggies, we've got seaweed, and we've also got radish. I love getting radish when I go hot pot because it just soaks up the flavor of the broth. And when you eat it, it's like eating a vegetable that just tastes exactly like, you know, either the tomato flavor or the chicken flavor. All right, next up, I mean, we've had a lot, but next up we're gonna have the ox tongue. Beef tongue is something that I always get when I go hot pot. It sounds weird if you've never tried it before, I urge you to try because I think it's delicious. It doesn't have to be in the soup for long. Like if it's boiling, I reckon 15 to 20 seconds is enough. I've got two because uh, one is never enough. It's so good. In terms of like the pork, it's always nice to have a bit of fatty pork belly in your hot pot. It does make the entire sort of soup get really oily, but they do come here, like the waiters and the waitresses do come here and scrape off the, the top of the soup and so it always remains quite clear. My favorite is the tomato broth. The tomato broth is amazing. The vegetable that I typically go for is wong apa, which is the, I think it's called Chinese cabbage, because vegetables that soak up the flavors of the broth is like my favorite in terms of hot pot. I've actually made a video on how to do your own hot pot at home so if you're interested just check it out here. 
or here. I don't know where the angles work. So my dad also pointed out that the reason why there's no steam coming out of the hot pot is because there are vents on the side that suck the steam away before it rises to the top. It's something that I didn't even notice until we mentioned it, but uh, I guess that's why there's nothing fogging up the lenses right now, which I appreciate a lot. Okay, um, my parents ordered the plum juice, which I actually don't really like. But it's quite refreshing actually. It's like a more sour Ribena. Okay, so my brother got a Heidi Lau beer and then he went for seconds, which got me really curious because I really want to know what it tastes like. So um, I'm going to finish the rest of this up. And uh, it just tastes like normal beer. Oh, it's lager. Beer with hot pot is always nice because hot pot is very hot and beer just like cools everything down. Okay, this is like the, to is it tofu? I don't even know, but this is the thing that that um, you just need to put in the soup for a very short period of time and then eat it straight away. I let it go in for way too long, so it was already a little bit too salty. So on the menu, you can actually order for someone to come and do like the dancing noodle. And so we have that coming very, sh oh, actually it's happening right now. Okay, now we have the dumplings. So the inside is a pork and prawn mix. I'm just gonna one bite it. I bit the top off to show you what's on the inside. So the outside is quite thick and to be honest, I can't really taste it the flavors on the inside um, it tastes more like just the tomato broth I find the wrapper to be a little bit too thick for my liking actually I think I'm kind of on the last bits of food so you've seen me have the noodles you've seen me have a whole bunch of meats a whole bunch of balls <laughs> but what we're ending with now is the radish which has been in the chicken broth and it soaked up the flavors of the chicken broth and we're also tasting the noodle that they made as they were dancing previously and then uh and then i think that's pretty much it all right so first up we have the radish it's um slightly translucent just glistening in the lights the radish is so good look at this it's like translucent and this is I'm just so worried about it slipping and then splashing all the soup. Okay, so this is the dancing noodle. It's not bad, but I actually prefer the original noodles that I had. It was more like, it had more bite to it. This one was like, it's fun. It's fun to see them make it. But if I had to just choose it based on what I liked more, I liked the other noodles that we had. So this is the seaweed. I never order seaweed when I go hot pot, but my dad wanted to eat it, so that's why we have it. I don't think this is something that you definitely need to order <laughs> at hot pot. I was wondering what was actually in the bag of the um, of the present that they gave my mom, and it's um, and it's this. So it's like you can use it to like massage your back and stuff. Who be on one go each other? Okay, so we have our dessert. They said it's a grass jelly, but it doesn't look like, you know, your typical grass jelly. It's a lot lighter in color than that. I think there's like some sort of dates. There's watermelon in it as well. Oh, this is really nice. This is really refreshing. You can taste a bit of the watermelon. It's very cooling. We should get more than one. And that is it for this video. Thank you for joining me on my hot pot dinner tonight. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. If you're based in Sydney, make sure you sign up to my Sydney newsletter. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
just poured boiling water on my finger. Yeah, what do you really think? So as we were walking out, they handed us a bag of these snacks. This is what it looks like. You should have eaten it with your beer. I did. Oh, I did you? Oh, I didn't have any. 